Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema Sit Down. So uh, I've been running around the last couple of days. Work's been like, yeah, I got like one of those work weeks where like I'm basically working every single day in some capacity. Um, so it's kind of been a weird week so far for me. Um, but I, I heard that a trailer came out like a couple of days ago, and from what I heard, this is a trailer that dropped at CinemaCon. And people went pretty nuts for it. I'm pretty stoked for this movie, but right now, I'm giving Barbie the edge on opening night. It's one of the biggest box office matchups we've had in a long time. A lot of people are excited for it. So let's see if the new trailer and what people were all buzzed about at CinemaCon can start to sway the old Seaman to leaning to this movie come opening night. What are we talking about? Why don't you pull up a chair? Take a seat. We are getting ready to take a look at the second official trailer for Oppenheimer and I gotta tell you man uh, I said it in the last trailer reaction um, but Oppenheimer is definitely a movie I'm stoked for I love me some Christopher Nolan and while this one isn't necessarily gonna like be like classic Christopher Nolan right I think classic Nolan is when he's starting to get inside your brain but Tenant was a pretty big swing that didn't connect with everybody and we've also seen Nolan you know adapt true life stories unbelievably well and getting to see Killian Murphy front and center in this one is so exciting for me um it's a, that's a guy I've been watching for years and anytime he pops up in anything he's so good and this feels like the big Oscar run potentially for not just Nolan maybe Killian Murphy could, could be on, on a run here too if this movie pops as, as much as people hope and and don't get me wrong when i say like right now i got barbie on the edge to see that first it's not because i don't desperately want to see this movie and i don't think that this movie is gonna be phenomenal i definitely do um but i i'm like i just my typical mood and where i've been lately like i, I you know i i i feel like i want to gravitate towards like the fun pop kind of a movie than the Ooh, let's get in the nitty gritty, but who knows, man? Maybe this trailer is going to make me go, ah, uh, ah, uh, nah, 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 no, 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 it's coming back to the big screen with a big movie. Uh, maybe this is the one that we got to go see. So let's not waste any more time, man. I, there, there's no reason to. Let's get the trailer up for you guys. Uh, I got to still get it up here for myself. Let's get the old computer set up correctly. All right, we've got the Oppenheimer trailer teed up. Um, ooh, it's like classic... Uh, this is obviously also the other thing too, right? Like the big Chris Nolan departure from Warner Brothers. Um, and then kind of like on the open market as a free agent, Universal scooped up the distribution rights for this one. We'll see if this works out well and maybe, you know, that becomes a long running relationship over at Universal. Next for Chris Nolan. Um, I don't think I've heard anything official. I just know that like they were distributing this one. So nevertheless, Universal's having a great year when it comes to, to money and distribution of its films. The, the the philosophy of like being in the theaters and if it's not making a ton of money, moving it, I think like 17 days or so over to like digital where you can rent it for VOD and stuff and then eventually getting over to Peacock. The strategy has been pretty positive from anything that I've seen when people talk box office and numbers and stuff so who knows man maybe this is Chris Nolan's match made in heaven but uh I really want to know how good is this freaking movie be so I got I got the trailer up you've got it in front of you we're all ready let's take a look at the second official trailer for Oppenheimer like I said classic preview style with the green uh trailer oh there's Universal Ooh, I, I think the sound design on this movie is gonna be nuts from Christopher Nolan uh, just the different things he's got stylistically using black and white mix of color I love it if the Nazis have a bomb oh that's that's fascinating how could you possibly know that we've got one hope all America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here the secret laboratory keep everyone there until it's done <laughs> let's go recruit some scientists build a town build it fast we don't let scientists bring their families. We'll never this cast them. is nuts. Why would we go to the middle of nowhere for who knows how long? 
Uh. Why? Why? How about because this is the most important thing that ever happened in the history of the world? No, I stunned! Supervisor, but this. You can't do in your head. Mm. Every second there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world. Chances are Bro. Near zero. Near zero. <laughs> zero. Would be nice. Yeah, right. Oh my god, man. This is a matter of life and death. But I can perform this miracle. World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. That's happening, isn't it? The world will remember this day. Right? Right. Bro, like, you feel this build is so good. Until somebody builds a bigger one. You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Dowdy! Saw Florence Pugh in there a little bit before. Yo. Three, Truman needs to know what's next. Two, what's next? One. Woo! <laughs> 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 like, I... Shit. Alright, I, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe Oppenheimer's gonna get the edge. That... The first trailer, I thought, did such a good job of kind of, like, teeing everything up and gave you the visual of the explosion. Um, or at least a piece of it. And obviously we're seeing more pieces of it in there. Um, and that was like, when that one came out, the big thing was like, yeah, Nolan built a bomb <laughs> that would create a mushroom cloud to capture in camera, like not digital effects stuff. Um, and that was like the big pop. But I wasn't feeling that urgency, you know, that like the world is on the line in this one and this one you, you're starting to feel that one that just constant ticking i mean that just it, it it's a literal countdown you know and just like hearing matt damon go you know and that dude's like why would we go and spend all this money in, in the middle of nowhere and damon's like because this is the most important thing to ever happen to human history right like the atomic bomb nuclear bomb completely changes the entire gate like you kind of forget sometimes that like a crazy person, if they wanted to, could push a button right now and take out most of the world. And that moment in time was so important. And that is the other thing, right? Where it's like you hear Killian Murphy go uh, as Oppenheimer, like, I know what happens if the Germans get this first. Because in his brain, he can see it, you know? And he can see it in a way that, like, only the creator could see it and knows what's on the line. And then Damon's like, telling me that like there's a chance and i push this button we destroy the entire world Oppenheimer goes near zero i said at the same time as Dave was like near zero no that needs to be zero and obviously it didn't destroy the world but it, it certainly did some serious damage to nagasaki and hiroshima and changed the world in a way where n nuclear war could destroy the earth and that kind of weight that kind of urgency, that kind of responsibility. You're feeling all of that pressure in here. And then just seeing this freaking cast, man. I mean, like, obviously, Killian Murphy's front and center. Damon's front and center. Emily Blunt front and center. But you got Downey in there. Florence Pugh is in there. I'm pretty sure that was Kenneth Branagh at, 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 at one point talking to him, right? Yeah, that, yeah, like... No, Nolan's not not pulling any punches. And this, this is going to be a big one. It's gonna be a big movie. Oh, but that that one, man. That that one gives you that like you're gonna be sitting there, and even though we know what happens, you're gonna be like this. Probably most of the movie. Um, and it's just gonna be loaded with unbelievable performances. I'm very excited for Oppenheimer. I am now undecided as to what's gonna happen come opening night. Um, most likely, if I can, I'm gonna see both. It's just the question is, is which will be first. 
I'm not going to be pulled back ahead a little bit. It's like next time Barbie drops something, we'll see what happens. But either way, I think both movies are going to be excellent. And I think that is going to be a weekend and a, a month that, that, that'll be a good time at the movie theaters. Maybe we'll do Oppenheimer first, right? And like feel all that and then like go have some fun after, right? Like maybe that's the way to go. Who knows? I don't know. We'll figure it out come opening night. Either way, I am stoked for Oppenheimer. And this looks like another, another, another big movie for Chris Nolan. Um, but I, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to turn it over to you. What are you guys thinking, man? Uh, how excited are you for Oppenheimer? How big of a fan of Chris Nolan are you? Killian Murphy. Like I said, that, that's, the, that's the biggest draw here for me is like Killian Murphy is going to get like the leading role in a movie that you know is going to have a huge Oscar push. And that's exciting because I'm a big fan. The dude's so talented. And he, more people will see him. So are you excited about that? Um, this cast in general, do you feel the weight, the urgency, the pressure that Oppenheimer has going on in this trailer? Um, what are you going to do opening night? Oppenheimer? Barbie? Anything you got, man, on the second official trailer for Oppenheimer? Good, bad, indifferent. Put it down below in the comments section. Look forward to talking to you down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I apologize for if you guys can hear whatever that noise is. I thought we were done with construction and stuff in this area. They, they finished the building. I don't know what that is, but this is terrible. Um, so, <laughs> anyway. Um, all that's left for us is to simply say, if you enjoy this mess, like my reactions, like my thoughts, you want to... Show a little love and support. Be around for more of that stuff. Well, hey, come join C Maniac Nation. It's super easy. Just jump over there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell if you want those alerts. And until next time for the C Man's Cinema Sit Down. I've been the C Man. I'm signing off. Peace. Oh, <laughs> you guys are still here. You snuck up on me. You must be looking for more of this guy. Well, I got two video options for you, man. Right up here and right over here. And if you want all those C Man goodies, well, hey, come join the squad. Right on over there, and I'll catch you on the next one.